Hey guys, what is up? What is up? I'm so excited because we're going to do a St. Patrick's Day look today. Because in the rare event of events of the things that are happening, St. Patrick's Day falls on a Saturday. So for all my party animals out there, I know you are excited. I know you're going to be out there getting your green beers. You don't have to worry about getting up for work the next day. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And St. Patrick's Day is a very, very, very good excuse to get away with wearing bright green eyeshadow and bright green lipstick on just whatever day. Well, St. Patrick's Day, not whatever day. But normally people don't go out wearing green lipstick and bright green eyeshadow, things like that. If you do, more power to you. You're more ballsy than I am, but I do not. So today's video i am going to be doing a quick little fun saint patrick's day type look i know that when saint patrick's day comes around everybody's got the green shirts and the little dilly bobs for their head and all the crazy things to wear but then when it comes down to actually getting ready to go out it's like what the hell do i do with my face usually i don't know sometimes you gotta play around so we are gonna create a look we're gonna find all the green eyeshadow that i can find and the green lipsticks and all the things and we're gonna come up with a look. We're gonna make a look today. So, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you do not miss out on the circus that is my channel to watch me do fun things like this when I try to wing it and figure out, like, I have no clue what we're gonna come up with today. I have no clue. I don't know. It might be a disaster. It might be some cool shit. I don't know. But I'm thinking some green pot of gold fuckery. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in to the video. All right, first things first, I already have my face on. I do have my eyebrows done and I'm gonna go ahead and go in and prime up my lids because I need to be primed for all this eyeshadow that we're about to use. Sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little bit of the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Painterly. I know some people also have it in Soft Ochre. I like Painterly. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and I'm going to put it all over the lid just to kinda, just to prime the lids a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do this with a flat brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and put this all over the lid just to set a base. I definitely highly suggest doing this, um, especially if you're going to be using um, colors like greens, things like that. I feel like if you create more of a neutral base, especially when you have darker skin like I do, um, it makes the colors pop so much better um, versus trying to make a bright green shadow work on darker skin. Sometimes it does not work very well to do that. So I very much highly suggest putting some type of um, primer, anything. I mean, you could take concealer and use it. You don't necessarily have to use um, you know the paint pots or anything crazy like that so you can use concealer it does the same exact thing and then just set it with a setting powder that way it's easy to blend out all right i'm gonna go ahead and set the eyelid with some powder just because it is a little bit tacky you do not want your eyelids to be tacky when you are doing eyeshadow because it will look like a hot mess you will have like your eyeshadow will not blend and it'll be patchy and gross and just no so I'm going in, I'm just setting it with a little bit of Laura Mercier setting powder just to kind of give it that nice soft base and as you can see it kind of brightens it a little bit more so that we still have a little bit of that bright canvas to use these bright colors on. Alright, so for the palettes and stuff that I'm thinking that I want to use today, and I'm using three different ones, you do not have to use these palettes to get this achieved look. As long as you can find some green eyeshadow, it works. Um, but I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B palette, which is this beautiful, if I can get it open, is this beautiful palette here. It has all the colors. So I did want to play with some of the greens that are in here. I'm um, excited about that. And then if there is a color, there was a green that was kind of speaking to me out of the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I know a lot of people do have this palette. So if you do, there are some greens to choose from in this palette as well. Right here, it's a little bit darker, but I was thinking of that for maybe like an outer corner shade, things like that. Um, and then one other thing that I was going to use, which is my highlighting palette, which is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics 24 Karat 
Skin Frost Pro Palette. And the reason why is because I am interested in finally using this shade right here, the color Liberace. Um, it is this crazy gold. For those of you, it is just like uh, that have all of the Fenty Beauty products. It's kind of the same thing as using the Trophy Wife highlighter. So if you do not have your hands on this highlighting palette, but you do have the Trophy Wife highlighter, you can use this as well. Or if you have any type of just bright yellow gold highlighter, it'll work just as well. So first things first, I am going to get myself a nice big old fluffy blending brush, which my favorite one, as everybody knows that has been watching me, likes this, I like this Morphe M535 blending brush. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into the Jaclyn Hill palette first, just because I'm going to go in with a, just a neutral transition shade just to kind of start. So I'm going to go into this color right here. It's kind of like this peanut buttery one. Um, definitely adjust your neutral shade for, um, you know, your different skin tones, things like this. If you're a little bit fair, this might look a little dark for you, so you may want to go in with one of these colors here instead. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I'm just going to pop it in and just put it in all over the crease. All right, next things up, I'm going to take another fluffy blending brush, not one that is as big and as thick as this one. If you can kind of see this one, it is very uh, big and fluffy. So I'm going to go ahead and take one that's a little bit more tapered, which is this guy right here. Um, if you can kind of see it, it is still fluffy, but it's a little bit more tapered. This is the MAC 224 brush. Another um, good dupe for this if you don't want to spend the money, I think that it works just as well as this guy. It is the Morphe M576 brush. So if you actually see them next to each other, they are basically identical. So that is a good dupe for you guys. Um, and I think that they work and feel exactly the same. I just, I feel like I've, I've had this brush forever since like, oh, I think I've had this like for years and I got, I just got into Morphe brushes and realized that they're damn near the same thing. So anywho, let's get weird. Let's get, let us get weird. Ow, I just pinched my finger. Ugh, the palette just bit me. Ugh. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop into this bright green color right here. Yes, we're, we're just gonna start off. We're gonna go crazy. We're, we're not even gonna, we're not even gonna slide into it easily. So we're gonna go ahead and take this fluffy blending brush. We're gonna go ahead and saturate this dude, and then we are gonna go ahead and also pop it in to the crease, right where we put down the um, orange. But don't bring it up as high. She's green. All right, next I'm thinking of doing like a halo type eye, um, just because I think it would be a little bit fun. So I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna dip into this very deep um, forest green here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a halo with that, which basically means I'm gonna take the color and I'm gonna put it on the outer corner, my inner corner and across. So I'm gonna leave the space in the middle of my lid completely bare. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to put that all in. take a fluffy blending brush and just kind of blend these all together just to kind of lose that harsh line. Ooh, she's green. And I know some of y'all are looking at this like, uh, Tenna, it's, that's, that is green. It's a look. I'm aware it's St. Patrick's Day. You're not supposed to look crazy or wait. You are supposed to look crazy. You're not supposed to look normal. So have fun with it. Put it up to your freaking ears if you want to. You just gotta make sure you're wearing green. All right, and just to make it a little bit more dramatic, I am going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna go into that very, very deep dark green here on the edge. Um, and I'm gonna put, pop that into my outer corner just to kind of, just to smoke it out a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe E17 brush a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and pop that into the outer corner and just kind of smoke this out. And take a fluffy blending brush and just kind of smoke this out on the edges get rid of any harsh lines all right 
right, so next what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut out the um, middle there, right where we did the halo. So I'm gonna go in with a ever so tiny, well, I'm gonna go in with this very, very flat concealer brush. This is a MAC 248 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with more Painterly. Um, like I said, if you don't have this concealer, works just as well, just make sure you're a little bit careful. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit on here and I'm gonna go ahead and just carve out just that middle part of the eye up to the crease. Just like that. Nothing too crazy. All right, and next it is time for our little pot of gold to go with our green. So this is the part where we break out our crazy. This is where we break this out. Um, and for those of you that have Trophy Wife at home, go ahead and break it out. Um, anybody that has a yellow gold highlighter, break it out. Um, if you do not have a bright yellow gold like this, I mean really any gold shimmery eyeshadow will do. Um, you know, I'm just going for something that's a little bit more wild, just a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with a flat brush, which I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. It is the Morphe M421 brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and just dip right on into there, like so. And we are gonna go ahead and pat, pat, pat right onto that uh, part that we carved out. See if I can do this with a finger. Sometimes doing it with a finger makes all the difference with these. There she is. There she is, there's our gold. And again, I'm gonna go in there and just dip right on in with my finger. And we're gonna tap, tap it onto the other eye as well. So next, what we are going to go ahead and do is we are not going to do any regular eyeliner today. No, no we're not. Um, we are not going to do black eyeliner. We're not going to do any of that. We are going to do green eyeliner. So I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Liquid Lipstick in Crocodile Tears. For those of you that have his lipsticks and don't know it, these actually are an extremely good formula for a liquid eyeliner. So I'm actually going to use this to do my winged eyeliner today. I'm going a little bit out of the norm. So that is what we're gonna use. Um, and then, I mean, realistically, if you have any green um, lipstick at home or if you even have green eyeliner, go ahead and use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the back of my hand so that we have plenty of product. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in and do a wing. And there's our green eyeliner, our green wing. I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of glitter. Why not? Zhuzh it up a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. It is the NYX Liquid Crystal Body Liner. Um, and it's a pretty good dupe, I think, for the Urban Decay, uh, the glitters, the heavy metal glitters. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, and I'm gonna go ahead and run this along the top of this liner. And to finish up the eye look, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that green. Huh, which green? Mm. I'm gonna go back into this green right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that and I'm gonna go ahead and run it along the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and take some black eyeliner and I'm gonna go ahead and run that along the lower lash line. Go ahead 
ahead and take my smudger brush and go ahead and smudge that black into that green. Let's go ahead and finish this off with some mascara. Go ahead and take any mascara of your choice. You can also put lashes on. And then, if you want to get really fun with your highlight, you can go ahead and use that bright yellow highlight as well. Um, just because I never use it on a day-to-day -day basis and I think it'd be kind of cool to, you know, kind of use it on a day where you're kind of doing that that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow type deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this and we're gonna, we're gonna see what it looks like on the vase. I think that the gold highlight is appropriate considering the holiday. I would do green lipstick, but I think it might be a little much. So I'm just gonna go in, I know, and do a nude lip. You can also flip flop this if you wanna do more of a nude eye with green eyeliner, and then you can wear your green lipstick. However, I'm not gonna go that green because start looking a little crazy. So I'm just gonna go in with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the color Catching Feels, which is this kind of terracotta nude color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on. Let's be cute. Let's do something cute. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take that liquid lipstick again and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand, like so. And then let's find us like a small brush, like a tiny little brush with like a rounded end, like a rounded tip end to it. Kind of like this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna dip the end of my brush in it like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And take that little eyeliner brush and just we made ourselves a cute little clover. And then just add a little bit of zhuzh in there. We can go ahead and take that gold glitter again if I can find it. If you guys can see my desk right now, it is a freaking like disaster zone. Right, and if you want to take a little bit of the gold glitter, you can take some and just kind of dab it in the clover just to give it a little extra. Oh, it's just horrible. There she is. This is our fun wild. I'm actually excited. I'm a bum that I'm doing this video and it's not St. Patrick's Day yet because I like this. It came out, see, I told you, we never know where it's gonna go. It could either be a shit show or you end up liking it. Who knows? Half of you watching this might not like it. Don't really care. I think it's cool. So this is it guys. We went for that that gold that golden leprechaun, that that treasure at the end of the rainbow, that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow with a little clover. Um, I think that it's cute. And hopefully this inspired you to do something a little bit fun this weekend since it falls on a weekend and I feel like more people will be celebrating than normal. Um, I hope that this was something that was fun for you guys. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed me doing like holiday festive type things. You could definitely do more videos on that if you'd like. Um, otherwise, that is it guys. That is the full look. Makeup has no rules. I mean, you can do whatever the hell that you want to. So if you don't necessarily like my look and you want to do something else, by all means, do it. Makeup has no rules. It's supposed to be for you and how you like to do your makeup. And I'm just hoping that this inspired a little bit of something. If you're feeling stuck and didn't really know what to do, because I feel like it's so easy just to do normal makeup and just slap on some green lipstick. Why not do green eyeshadow? Why not? I think it's kind of fun. Um, otherwise, that is it, guys. Thank you for following along, and I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit subscribe before you leave so that, you know, you don't miss out on my fun circus of things that I do on my channel. So yeah. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.